the Muscle Sage, and welcome back to Let's Play Subspace Emissary Like a Badass. Now, I hope every single one of you had a nice holiday season. And for those of you that don't celebrate, why the hell not? It's the most manly holiday ever. I mean, you get to set the sky on fire with rockets and stuff. I mean, I hear the British have their own version, but it's just not as cool. I mean, it has dolls or something in it. Anyway, either way, Happy 4th of July, people! Okay, so I'm apparently gonna have to fight this dragon here, and he's a Pokemon, so... The only way to fight a Pokemon is with Pokemon moves. Okay, so... I guess I kinda got a Vulpix and a Mankey here. I mean, not that I play Pokemon or anything, it's a game for kids. Miracoat! Yes! Oh man, that's gonna be super effective in the fight. Anyway, I don't play Pokemon because it's a game for kids. I mean, uh, why would I want to? Okay, so Mankey's a fighting type, so he's not going to do well against a flying type. So I better stick with Vulpix because at least he knows something good like Miracoat. Although, can Vulpix learn Miracoat? All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, Fury Swipes. That's not very good. Uh, high Jump Kick. Oh, all right, Ice Shard. Oh, that's gonna be super effective. Yeah, just walk right into this. Ow! I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Okay, well, I guess it's just time to use Hyper Fang. Hyper Fang! Hyper Fang! Ow! God! Laser beams right in my face. Ah! Rayquaza doesn't even know Thunder. I, I mean, not that I know or anything. Like I said, I don't play it. He doesn't know Tail Whip either. God, this game's just cheating. Oh, come on, he doesn't know Dig. Oh! Yeah, I should have known. A ground type move against a fire type move. It's super effective. Well, better finish him off with my fighting type. He's pretty weak, so one good cross chop should finish it. I said one good cross chop should finish it. One good cross chop should finish it. Yeah, there we go. Oh! When did he learn Aftermath? Wait, aren't I gonna gain a level or something? I mean, that's a pretty hard match. I mean, if I had known that I wasn't getting experience for the Legendary, I would've just thrown a Pokeball at him or something. Yeah, don't run away from the chimpanzee. He's strong enough to rip your arms off. Yeah, that's right, just submit. Okay, so... I'm not enjoying the fox too much, so let's go back to my monkey. Wait, that didn't come out quite right. Okay, so some of you may have been concerned by the fact that it looked like I attacked the Bronze Sage a couple episodes ago. Well, I figured it's time to explain what's been going on here. So, there's this guy called Taboo who identifies himself as the ultimate fanboy. And he used the same technology to come into the game that the rest of us do. But rather than take on an avatar like we all do, he managed to hack himself a custom one and passed himself off as kind of a deity figure. Well, as his first miracle, he kind of brought back the apprentice's master, except it wasn't his master. It was kind of a shadow copy of him and was put there basically to get loyalty towards him so he could get some of us to attack the rest of them. Now, there's some rumors going around that this fake master, you know, promised me a secret to beat the apprentice once and for all, but, uh, those are complete conjecture, or whatever the hell that legal term is. The point is, it didn't happen. I, I knew it wasn't a- I knew it wasn't the master all along. I- I was just going along with it. I was undercover as a secret agent, and I just kind of had to, you know, attack the Bronze Sage to keep up appearances. I mean, I knew he was gonna be okay. Anyway, so it kind of started a war between the Sages, some that believed in this kind of, you know, new deity figure. And the rest of them that believed that this was kind of a, you know, a hacker or something, which turned out he was. But like I said, I was on the good guy's side the entire time. Anyway, he kind of convinced the people on the other side that, quite frankly, they were uh, not the real sages and they replaced them. And that he could bring back the real sages if they took him down. Now, in reality, all he was trying to do was he was trying to destroy our way of life from the inside by slowly defeating every single one of the sages. And then he was going to create his own universe and replace it with his own version of the 12 rules. 
Now, being made a pure fanboy, he was actually able to spawn more fanboys, which are the small gray guys, you see. And quite frankly, his powers were actually kind of potent, despite him being just really annoying. I mean, he was no match for me, but as I said, I was undercover, and I wanted to make sure I had the whole scoop before I just took him down with my awesomeness. Anyway, so that's essentially what was going on. I mean, there's a couple other small things involving Marth and some time travel, and like I said, the apprentice was out of town, and as was Jigglypuff, but uh, we'll save that for a bit later. So uh, now you know, and knowing is something something. Oh, what the hell? This is a room of fire! Why would this room even exist? God! Well, I'm never going in that room again. Okay, so how the hell was I supposed to know that the room of fire was gonna turn into a forest? I mean, that doesn't even make any sense! God, game designers just have some of the stupidest logic. Ugh. Man, am I th What the hell? Since when can Ram shoot electricity out of their face? Well, anyway, I mean, it's not like it's that hard. I, I've got this game pretty much mastered. Oh, sweet, a rafting level. This is like that, uh, that classic piece of literature. You know, um, Adventures of HP Lovecraft or something. Except it's only one guy, but eh, I do enjoy a good raft. Okay, so we're just gonna shoot our gun here a little bit. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, killed by the recoil thing. <laughs> ah, man, I'm getting good at this game. I mean, not that I wasn't already good, but I'm getting even better. I mean, this is manly. Oh wait, I probably should go in that door. Okay, so... Oh, cool! I just get to shoot these and... Huh, I wonder what the hell that was. Okay, so we just get our... Hey, a trophy! Well, okay then. Huh, I'm actually kind of starting to run out of stuff to say in these episodes. I'm gonna have to start getting... Creative. I mean, either that or I need to stop talking over the cutscenes, but... I mean, everybody likes watching me, listening to me talk, so... Ha! <laughs> uh, that's not gonna happen. Huh, wonder what that little thing I picked up does. I'll figure it out. Oh, all right! Celebi! That's gotta be like a really rare trophy! Once again, I don't play Pokemon. I, I, I just know a few people. I mean... Yeah, Pit, you know, he just hangs around and... He's such a fanboy that he plays Pokemon and he won't shut up about it and... I just remember small things here and there. Like I said, I, I'm just doing this humor for you. Wait, where the hell did the raft end up on a shore? Although I'm digging this music. Oh, uh, oh, come on. Why doesn't the soccer ball ever do anything for me? I swear, one of these days, I'm going to get that soccer ball to do something. Anyway, uh, that was my way of taking that one turtle down with me with my hammer. I mean, I intended to die there because it just looks cooler that way, and I felt like playing as some Vulpix here. I mean, Fox. Although he does apparently know Flame Plume. Or is it Lava Plume? Once again, uh, not that I know anything. Oh, cool. That completely disobeys the laws of physics. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, wow! I gotta fight a shadow version of myself. This is gonna take all of my cunning. Okay, let's see what have I learned so far. Okay. Fury swipes! Fury swipes! Fury swipes! Okay, let's pull this spring thing out and... Uh, I don't know. Let's keep using fury swipes. Ah! Jump kick! Fury swipes! Jump kick! Whoa, what the hell is that? Vulpix learns teleport? Awesome! Oh, sweet, a bomb! Alright, let's use this properly. Aw, oh, damn me! I, I mean, damn shadow me! Ah! That's what you get for throwing a bomb at me! Ha! Ah, uh, explosions are still funny. 
So yeah, he kind of created shadow clones of all the sages, and... Well, they kind of just fall apart when you beat the crap out of them. I mean, he wasn't that powerful. He just can create facsimiles. Yeah, so, see, when I'm firing at people, I'm not being the bad guy. I'm, I'm just keeping up appearances so I can get close to the main bad guy. And so I can take him out myself. I mean, I was on the good guy side the entire time. Oh, look at that score! Man, I, I can't even count that high! I mean, what is that, uh... 152 billion? Sweet! Oh, man! F cool! I caught a Vulpix for my team! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I'll have to use him for later. Anyway, later, people!